Hey, welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to this beautifully lit, abundant, and prosperous YouTube. Over here, I do spiritually related videos and content. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit the description down below. Also, hit the post notification bell. Always alerting when I'm uploading to the channel and you don't miss out. <sighs> Woo! I can't go with this water. Stay hydrated, y'all. Okay. Sending you all wellness, good vibrations. All right. Catch it. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. <coughs> let's go ahead and hop into the messages. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, show me what it is I need to see. <coughs> show me what it is I need to see. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. <coughs> to see letting go trapped yeah okay there could have been some people some energies that you detached from at some point okay you just had to let these people go maybe you felt like they wasn't vibrating on the level that you are on okay some of these people when you were in their presence or when you were around them you felt trapped you felt like you know uh you don't want to end up like them <laughs> okay <laughs> Like, let me get rid of your ass, because uh-uh, 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 this is not a vibe, not for me, you know? Um, it's whew, what I'm getting from somebody, yeah. Oh, let's your angels and guys. High priestess of air, some of you guys are high priestess, okay? Literally, of air. Okay, real shit, you very tapped in with the most high. You very tapped in with the spirit, all right? And obviously, if somebody or something is low vibrational, you're going to leave it behind. You're going to let it go. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Individuality. Okay, so somebody copying you. Somebody is copying you. 230. Because you're an individual. They don't have what it takes to be an individual. So you could be teaching someone. They don't want you to know that they're learning from you, but they are. You're teaching someone. You know how to do something better than them. The way that you channel a message, the way that you give a message, the way that you do something here. Some of you guys are tarot readers. Some of you guys just speak pro like prophetic word, prophetic uh, word. Okay, I just heard. <clears throat> Whatever it is, you do something better than somebody. So somebody's watching you to figure out like how you do what it is that you do. God has set you apart because you're so connected to the spirit. The spirit is not... No fool. The spirit is the ancient one. <laughs> okay. You could have been this like high priestess in another lifetime, in another realm. Okay. At another time. Okay. So it's like you left breadcrumbs how to get back to the soul, the spirit. So that when you came into this world, this 3D world, um, you still have those qualities of the high priestess of the spirit, you know, because being very tapped in with the spirit, you know, just real shit. And again, people who lack this sort of transformation or who lack this sort of exposure okay to the soul to the spirit to the divine okay they often are imitated because you know people try to capitalize and make money off of god you see what i'm saying so somebody could be mocking you or what they didn't realize they mocking you they mocking god because your messages your whatever you deliver is coming from the most high like literally your higher self is tapped into the, the your soul your spirit is tapped in with the divine so they mocking god by mocking you little do they know mm. holy spirit angels and guys what's coming out here Yeah, somebody doesn't do what you do. Whatever you do, <laughs> you're an individual. Nobody can do it like you. Okay. Yeah. They mocking you. They playing with God. Okay. And now they about to feel the wrath of God. Okay. Strength. Now they about to feel the wrath of God. Y'all want to mock God. Okay. 
we'll see how funny it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. The information that you get is guided by the Most High, by the Divine. Period. 511. <laughs> yes, your success. They want your success. That's what it is. That's why they're mocking you. So you must be very successful at what it is that you do. Very successful. Even if you don't consider yourself to be, there's these energies that emulate you, imitate you, that copy you, that want to do it like you, whatever that energy is, you know what I'm saying? Copy and paste, whatever. They want you to feel invisible and you're very successful. You get a lot of exposure. And they're doing, they're copying you, but they're invisible when they copy you. Nobody sees this. Nobody recognizes them for what they're doing. Because... The messages don't feel genuine. They feel forced. They feel like it's a lie. Okay? Just period. Especially if you are like a tarot reader or something like that. Is somebody out here copying you? Okay? Your level of faith is authenticity. Wow. Look at this. Because you know your self-worth, your value. Your level of authenticity, it can't be matched. It can't be mimicked. It can't be duplicated. It can't be none of that. Just period. Because like I said, it's coming from the divine. <laughs> the most high, the one, okay? Hello. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Let's see. Let me see if I can get another one with this one. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What's going on? Connected to these messages here. Oh. Yeah. Because you got a partnership with God. You got an alliance with God. You've been following your promise. You know, when you came down here in this room, you followed your promise. You know what I'm saying? You might have to renew certain contracts while you're here. But you're following your promise that you, you know, you said that you would do for, you know, with the divine here. And I feel like you're continuing on, you know. Um, some of these people are mad that you didn't give them some sort of closure. Okay? That's another reason why they're copying off of you. Because they're trying to figure out how to get to the divine. So those that are not copying, but they're just simply trying to find their way, that's one thing. But then you got some of these energies that's around you that they're copying you because they want some sort of exposure. They want to stop feeling invisible. They want people to see them. Okay. But they're invisible to people. Like their pages, whatever they post, whatever they put on, like nobody wants to hear from them. You know what I'm saying? It's because they have offended God. Hello? <laughs> they have offended the divine, honey. <laughs> So it's like you got everything to do with it, but nothing at all. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Spirit is stepping for you. You heard me? You ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. Holy Spirit, angels and guys. <laughs> God wants you to just trust the information that's coming in. Okay? Test the spirit. I just heard. Okay? If you need to. Okay? High priestess of air. Okay? <laughs> wow. Mmm. Yeah, you're definitely continuing on and you're doing better. And you're becoming more successful at whatever it is that you're doing. Period. Alright? You even found it the, 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 a way to make it fun for you. A, a way to make it enjoyable again. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. You're always being creative with something. You're always, you know, diving deep or, or reaching somebody. It's like, that's what you do. That's what your job was. That was part of um, your contract. Part of your promise. Okay? You have a very deep bond with, with the divine. I just can't, like, I don't know why they, they do, they would fuck with somebody like you. Like, people just be, uh, <sighs> Holy Spirit, angels and guys, show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, King of Swords, that's the truth. Because whatever you're doing is true. It's tried, tested, and true. Everybody know that it's true. King of Swords, everybody know that you are the truth. Your message is the light, is the way. Just period. Okay? Because of your bond. That emanates, you know what I'm saying, to the, to the world. On some real shit, anybody that happens to your frequency, it emanates to the world. You know, um, that you're gifted, that you're divine, and that your message is from God. Like, literally, you're waking people up. You're shifting people's consciousness each and every fucking day. People who spent a lot of time in a dormant state of where, or a closed-off state, to where they couldn't receive 
you know, the most high's information. They were not able to escape the matrix. Okay. Maybe you're teaching other people how to escape the matrix. Maybe you're teaching other people, um, how to guide them through their, with their finances. Like whatever it is, you are a master of it because your messages, your word, it comes from the most high because of your bond. And people recognize that. You know, it's not like a one hit wonder. It's not like, oh, one time she has said this or one time he has said this thing and it, and it resonated. No, it's not that. It's like everything that you say, real shit. You could just be talking to somebody you don't even know. It's like you be dropping jewels. You know what I'm saying? Catch it. And people, you know, try to talk shit about you and try to send other people to watch you or listen to you. It's like, that's why they feel invisible. Because these people that's copying you have run off and started listening to the real chosen one, which is you. So they've caused more of, with them going against you, they've caused more of your success. They've caused nothing but success for you by speaking on your name, bringing your name up. Okay? It's like more success gets poured into you. The more that they bring your name up, the more that they copy you, even. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that shit is crazy. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. The only card that flipped over, Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's self-sufficient. This is somebody who doesn't need other people. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be for their approval, whether it be, you know, to be successful. You do a profession or something like that where the work speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go on and on or explain or try to get people to resonate or nothing like that. The work speaks for itself is what they're telling me. And so you're trusted based off of that. People could trust you. People know that, okay, this person is really, you know, for real. This person is not a gimmick, you know, real shit. Nine of Pentacles. You're very successful. That's why, that's why people want to follow your light. That's why people copy you. That's why people try to imitate you. But then at the end of the day, there it turns, that imitation turns into jealousy for some of these people. It stops being playful imitation. It stops being, you know, at some point, and that's where some of these people are. And so they didn't realize that. They didn't get the cues, the signals. <clears throat> when the divine was telling them, look, this is not for you. Don't copy. Don't try to go down this path or whatever unless this is what you truly wanted. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> they really playing the game with themselves. They really playing the game with God, like literally trying to go up against somebody or trying to stop you. You have nothing but success on your path, like literally on your own. You don't need a group of people to com um, to confirm, oh, you, you that, who you say you are. Okay. You don't need nobody to confirm that shit, period. Nine of Pentacles. You just are. You just, it speaks for itself. Your work speaks for itself. Nine of Pentacles. Your ethics, your integrity, people know. They can feel that. That presence is real. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, to the magician. I cannot make it up. These people are fighting with God. With the magician guard here. Okay. These people have tried everything and none of it is working and they're wondering why. Now they're realizing that they're fucking with God. Okay. Some of these people, when they started to imitate you, they had to start actually walking the path of somebody who's sovereign somebody who's walking in their divinity and they realized that that was a hard battle okay so some of them tried to manipulate they said no well i'm just gonna copy off of somebody i'm gonna copy somebody's work and that never works you ever tried to cheat on a test like that shit never worked bro like what the fuck i don't care how much shit you try it never fucking worked like the way that you thought it was gonna work out like <laughs> The fuck? Somebody trying to cheat <laughs> to get to the top and it's not working. <laughs> the magician. What is the magician? I cannot make this shit up. Six of fucking pinnacles. <laughs> okay. They realize that it's harder trying to follow you or do something the way that you do. So if like you post a video, it's like people will watch it, but they like some of these energies from your past or whatever that you cut off um 
<laughs> they watch your stuff, your content or whatever, but it's really just to steal your stuff. And then in turn, when they go steal it and try to post it like it's theirs, right, they end up getting dubbed. Like nobody reacts to it. Nobody hearts it. Nobody likes it. People can't stand like copycats because people want to see something different people looking for indi individuality in the world where we are right now today you guys listen the individual is what sticks out to people the one who's being themselves people are tired of the same old same old same old same they're sick of it so your ability to just be you unfiltered unadulterated the real you is so authentic it's so refreshing you know what i'm saying so you build your own success based off of that period and you have a lot of success because of that like i said because you help other people to strengthen themselves strengthen the bond between them and the divine create a relationship between them their souls and themselves you literally came down here as part of your promise, part of your contract to help free other souls, other beings here on this in this realm. With this magician, you literally were sent here to do that. And you're doing a great job is what they're saying with the Six of Pentacles. So all of the whatever success they thought they was going to stop, it'll, it'll never fucking stop. It'll always keep continuing on coming to you towards you because you're very loved in ethers. In the spirit realm. They love you. And they always looking after you. Six of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. You're the truth. You set a lot of people, a lot of souls free. You know, through your clarity. Through your honesty. Um, through just watching you evolve as a person. You know. Um, you've helped other people to find themselves and be free and find their sovereignty in this world, okay? Honestly. In a world full of people that are not free, you know? They're in bondage to the matrix. You know? You help people break free of that. Yeah. And they can't stand that shit. So every time that you try to do something, they they every time that you do something, you become more successful. It's like they kick themselves. Like, damn, that didn't work for me. It worked for you, but it didn't work for me type shit. Like five of wands, like they kicking themselves. These people want to know what their purpose is. What, why did, you know what I'm saying? Why they're here. But I feel like they just listen to you not to really get an understanding, but to copy and had they just sat down with your messages and really internalized it, they would be so much farther and apply it to their own lives. They would be so much farther. But this isn't what they're doing. They're just copying your work because they see how successful you are. <laughs> and they're making a fool of themselves, period. Hello? You cut them off. You ain't got no ties with these people. These people just lost is what I really get ultimately, you know? And you're wise enough to know that some people you can help and some people you can't. And I feel like you learned that very early in the relationship that you may have had. In, in the interaction with whoever these energies that you let go of. You know, very short time time span or period. You, you learn that and you detach. You let them go. Gotta go. You feel me? Okay. Real shit. And just kept focusing on yourself. Ace of Swords. Yeah, to the five of wands. This could even be like family members or things like that that try to go against you or put you down or make you look to the public like you're not doing something. But see, everybody sees you as the master, as the one. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Everybody see you as that. You know what I'm saying? This is them talking shit about you with the five of wands to the eight of swords. And then every time that they talk about you, they restrict themselves and their own success in this realm. <laughs> they limit their own success because, like I said, when they try to pick a fight with you, they didn't realize they was picking a fight with the divine. I say, because you're divine. <laughs> okay. You're a master on every fucking level. The infinity symbol could be significant here. But the eights represent self-mastery. The eights represent the self, okay? <clears throat> and because you're very in tune with the self and the divine, right? 
you get a lot of success because of that, you know. You get to fix, like, karmic cycles and karmic things that were in your past life, okay. You really get to improve upon your life and your energy in all timelines, lifetimes, okay. When you're genuine about it. When you're truthful, when you're honest, okay? These people are not honest. They're a bunch of big liars and copiers, okay? Real shit. And they want to be tapped in like you, the high priestess. They want to know your secrets. But see, you have to rock with the divine in order to get the key insight. And that's not what they do. You know, they think they're above God. And this is why they're losing, okay? But yeah, this is what I'm getting for the reader. Let me know how this one resonates down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.